What's going on everyone? It's time to talk about a weird thriller from the 70s called Dr. Tor's Torture Dungeon. Or as it's also known as The Mansion of Madness. It was released August 10th, 1973 and it was directed by Juan Lopez Moctezuma. I think that's how you pronounce it. I probably butchered that though. He also did other films like Accordia, Mary Mary Bloody Mary, El... Alimento del Medio and Alejandro de Retrato de M. Vampiro. Hopefully I said those interestingly <laughs> weird. But yeah, uh, he's a Spanish film director, I think. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so Dr. Tor's Torture Dungeon. Wow, this this is a, was a really odd one. It's a pretty simple film and story. Uh the little story that it has. Um, so, Dr. Torch, Torch, Dungeon. Well, there's a guy who's like a millionaire, I guess, who's uh, going around, touring around uh, a countryside in like the 1800s or something, the English countryside, and uh, comes across uh, this mental insane asylum that uh, uh, he uh, wants to explore for some reason. And, uh, but then the neighbors said it's odd because they didn't, first they get there and there's armed guards, which there never is, and as he goes to and around, weird things are there. They have, like, their own religion, they have this weird, <laughs> uh, this weird sort of, uh, presence where people, it's apparently a new way to treat the insane as just treating them the way they want to be and letting them run wild and so like they hop as these two are around he's getting pulled by a cart by two insane people and then there's like random weird people there's a dungeon where they keep apparently the really bad ones <laughs> and then uh it's just so weird this movie it's very simple i'm gonna spoil it for you but uh yeah, the doctor in this is actually an insane guy, and he's actually running the insane of them because the inmates took it over, and the guards are the prisoners, and they starve them to death. Um, yeah, so the twist in this is very obvious when you watch this movie, but the way how quirky everything is, it just makes it so fun to watch. <laughs> like, um, yeah, it's like watching Robin Hood Men in Tights, but with a little more serious tone to it. Like they have a ghost <laughs> in the in the woods, which is just basically a, a shirt with like some weird hat thing on a string. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they have uh, yeah these weird guys that want to do religion. When they go on tour, they walk around on the roof for like ten minutes, and for forty five minutes of the film, it's them getting a tour. And then you get this good ceremony when someone, like, is doing well and stuff like that. And, uh, boy, it's a spectacle to see. I really enjoyed this film. Um, a lot of things didn't really make sense. It looked like they just mismatched a whole pile of stuff and put it in there. <laughs> but it's worked somehow. Um, they do some weird tropes, like visions when he's sleeping and stuff like that which is cheesy um but overall i had a lot of fun watching this i i enjoyed this movie <laughs> but like the little little no story it has it has quite the charm and uh a lot of good stuff it even has some creepy parts into it they have this guy that's like starving he's super skinny and they give him one piece of bread but he's trying to tell the visitor something else and then the guy slowly starts picking up and realizing what it going on and then after that he has to sit through this weird ceremony at the end which is hilarious it's like wizard of oz meets rocky horror picture show and it's like the weirdest setup but oh it was so amusing and i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna give dr tor's torture dungeon a four out of five just for the sake of it it's just a lot of fun it's pretty well shot too and the acting seems pretty decent too uh as well to go with it um yeah too bad if it had more of a story it definitely wouldn't have the quirky charm it has but i was pretty impressed with this so i really liked it so yeah 
Uh, there's a trailer for it linked down below if you want to check it out. It sounds like something you might be interested in. And also, link down below is my Instagram as well as post clips of films and a review in the future on my story. I usually have the film title hashtag and subgenre film and a hashtag so you're aware of it. And my letterbox is also down below at Terry P. Reviews and Sarah Plus, my first star rating right after watching the films. So, follow me on those two platforms, stay in loop with this channel, like this video, share it to more people who are aware of it, comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And also, if you have any other weird, quirky films like this <laughs> or any films or film franchises in any genre they want to hear my opinions on in the future comment those down below to get to them as soon as i can and if i can find them and also if you have any films on shutter that you want to hear my opinions on i haven't covered yet uh comment them down below too um make sure you, also make sure you subscribe hopefully we find something weird obscure and all that you probably never thought of checking out together like this <laughs> Or so you hear my opinions on popular films, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because I'm going to be jumping on Tubi next and finding something weird to watch on that. So they always have an interesting selection of horror films and thrillers. So I think I might check out a movie called Somebody Help Me. It looked really ridiculous. So I think I'm going to check that one out next. So tune in for that for next time. And, uh... Well, watch out for all those crazy, mentally insane people running the shows around here. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. Too bad I'll, this film would not stand today. Uh, a lot of people would boycott it and say things like they're making fun of the mentally ill and stuff. But this one, they actually used it more in an artistic sense and made it worthwhile and i hate people when they're serious like that so yeah too bad we probably wouldn't see anything like this ever again but thank god it's out there cheers